Hey guys and welcome back to part two of the slip DIY dress. So we have this long slip dress that we have made the top and now we're moving on to the skirt. So we're going to insert a zip um, and we're going to go into detail with it at the moment but just with the centre back seam we're going to unpick it to literally take out all the threads and we're going to unpick it for about 9 inches long. Um, the zip that I have I already had at home so it is extra long but usually a 9 inch zip would be perfect for back of a skirt. Um, I will probably do a video on how to attach a zip because it is quite fiddly but we're just going to continue unpicking the threads one by one and then we'll have a gap to insert the zip. I'm just attaching the zip onto the fabric and as mentioned I will do a separate vid as it's quite detailed how to attach a zip. two darts at the back and as you can see I fold the back well fold half of the half in half <laughs> fold one side in half and then I will measure an inch from the folded edge and that will be the width for the dart and I'll do about five inches down for the length of the dart so darts I'm inserting for it to have like a curved fit at the top and this will shape like your hips and your bum. done to finish the top edge of my skirt I've overlocked or surged it round and folded it in once and pinned it all the way around and then I'm just going to give it a single stitch Let me tell you how annoying it is <laughs> to 
to sometimes just try and catch the zip under the um, foot of the machine. It, it's just sometimes too bulky, like too much to go through my machine. Sometimes it just doesn't want to behave. So sometimes when you're sewing so much, you end up like creating knots upon knots and that makes it even more difficult. And sometimes I can be a bit impatient. So I want to show you how fiddly zips can be. Believe me, I was so excited when this finally got through the foot of the machine that was running smoothly. Okay guys, so I'm so excited. This DIY is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and look forward to more DIYs by Mills in London. Stay tuned to future DIYs by Mosey London. Mwah.